Hi there, I'm Okotoks Mayor Bill Robertson. Welcome to my update from the November 25th, 2019 Okotoks Town Council meeting. The most important piece of business that council completed at this meeting was the approval for the first phase of the new Arts and Learning Campus. This is a partnership among the Okotoks Public Library, Christ the Redeemer Catholic Schools, Foothill School Division, Bow Valley College, and Community Futures Iwood. These will be the main tenants in the first phase of the project. The project team can now proceed to the detailed design phase over the next four months, with construction expected to start in the spring of 2020. Now, other news from this meeting. The original post office, now known as Bistro 1882, a local restaurant, fine restaurant, located at 52 North Railway Street, received Okotoks first privately owned municipal heritage designation. It became, the, it became the post office in 1907 and served the community until 1937. On behalf of council, I'd like to acknowledge Ed and Marcella Povey, owners of the restaurant, the current building owners, for their pioneer spirit and willingness to lead as the first private owners to designate a property as a municipal historic resource. Very impressive. Other big news here, McLean's Magazine has released this year's list of Canada's most dangerous places and Okotoks continues to be one of the safest places in Alberta, actually the safest place in Alberta and one of the safest in all of Canada. Okotoks was the lowest ranked Alberta location on the list at 216 of 237 across Canada. This is slightly lower than last year when the where the town was ranked 129 of 229 in total. The list ranks locations based on a number of statistics, comparing the number of offenses of various crimes against the national average. Very impressive news for Okotoks and everybody associated with creating the social fabric within Okotoks. Next, the Economic Development Office presented the results of the roundtable discussion with the construction and manufacturing sector. This is the sixth roundtable session that economic development has held with specific business sectors. These sessions will help the town determine the best way we can support our business community. The complete report is available online at okotoks.ca under the Doing Business tab. Finally, I'd like to remind everyone to sign up. If you have a Christmas light display, a great Christmas light display, sign up for the Christmas light tour. Anyone with an outstanding display is encouraged to share the hours of hard work and effort they've dedicated to their display by submitting their address to the town through an online entry form. Go to okotoks.ca and look for local activities under the Discover Okotoks tab. The top 25 displays will receive a town certificate and a small gift as a token of our appreciation. Of course, remember a couple other things. Remember to get your tickets for the fantastic annual Food Bank Community Christmas Concerts to be held on Tuesday and Wednesday, December 10th and 11th, 2019. All proceeds from these concerts go to the Okotoks Food Bank. And once again, two years it happened, it's happening again. The CPR holiday train is stopping on Tuesday, December 10th, 19 at noon for 45 minutes. This is fantastic. Once again, raising food and money for the Okotoks Food Bank. Next council meeting is scheduled for Monday, December 9th, 2019. This is our annual budget meeting. And you can tune in online or you can attend live and sit in the gallery during that meeting. Thank you for watching this.